Nobody's perfect. I'm a nobody, therefore I'm perfect. That's a quote by Daniel Tosh that I actually used as my senior quote. I know it's pretty funny. I must have thought I was pretty hilarious as an 18 year old kid. But yeah, I went to a school called Greenbrier High School in Greenbrier, Arkansas, which is where I consider my hometown. It's actually really hard for me to choose a hometown because I was raised by a single mom and we moved around a lot. So this is actually the first time I've done legitimate research on this town because I consider a lot of places to be really full of memories for me at, and consider them to be my home. So, but I, I chose Greenbrier because I, we moved there when I was 12 and I went all through high school there and graduated uh, in 2011. In Greenbrier, funny thing, there's literally one attraction that you can actually look up and do in Greenbrier and that's called Woolly Hollow State Park. And if you go to a website called www.arkansasstateparks.com, it'll tell you that Woolly Hollow has like 5.5 miles of hiking that you can do and 30 AAA class campsites, a 40 acre lake with paddle boats, kayaks, and canoes that you can enjoy. I've been out there a few times and went swimming and all that good stuff. Uh, I did sports in high school. Uh, when we first moved there, I did football from about, from about eighth grade until sophomore year and then sophomore year I started running cross country and I did really well in cross country and uh, went, took the team to state and we, we went pretty far in cross country. A website called niche.com uh, ranked uh, Greenbrier High School number 19 as the best public schools in Arkansas which I had no idea about until I started doing a little bit of research. There is a festival about 20 minutes from Greenbrier that I would go to almost every year. I think I missed it a couple times when we lived there called Toad Suck Days. I know it's a weird, weird name. I, I wasn't sure about it when I first moved there. But yeah, it's called Toad Suck Days and they have funnel cakes and carnival rides and all of that stuff. It, it takes up all of downtown Conway. And because Greenbrier is so small, my buddies and I would always like drive down to Conway and that's where we would enjoy most of our hangout time. There's also this rock quarry in Greenbrier that you couldn't look it up if you were somebody visiting Greenbrier like for things to do because it was closed down off to the closed off to the public and me and my buddies would actually sneak in there and <laughs> drink beer and jump off the cliff. So that's if, if you were like from that town you could find things to do but other than that there's it's empty. Way out in the country, five thousand people um, it's pretty crazy, so there's really hardly anything to do in that town. You have to really look hard and, and live there for years to actually get ideas of things to do. But yeah, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to look up a hometown of mine and actually decide on one. And uh, I never got to do a bunch of research on Greenbrier, so I really appreciate you letting me do this, and I hope you learn a little bit more about Greenbrier. Thanks.